in this episode of Let's Paint the Matilda, we're going to go from this, the crisp paint job, to this, where we had the pin washes in start on our journey along to Weathering. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and today we're going to go to the next level in the paint and Matilda. We're going to do the pin washes and some of the bits and bobs. Before we do that we need to grab our clear, drop a bit of lacquer thinner in there, put it all in the airbrush as you can see here. I'm sorry about the camera work, I normally do videos on World of Tanks Blitz not modelling. Add a couple of drops of thinner and then blast the entire model. A lot of modelers like to do this before they put down the decals. I, I personally, I used to do that, but I found that there's no real need to do it anymore because the decals now, when you start using the decal sets, sort of, that's on the market, be it Ammo, Tamiya, Microsoft, you get a good set of decals anyway. And then you're going to put a clear over the top, so it's going to conform eventually. But some people still like to put the clear down first, then the decals, then another coat of clear. All we're going to do is just blast everything with this clear. It is thinned, um, and the reason we're doing this is because we need to have that coat of varnish before we go to the next stage. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to record the bottle. I'm actually using ammo um, wash here. This is the dark brown wash for yellow vehicles it's actually meant to be for the german tanks but it works fine basically it's a dark brown and it's an enam it's it's enamel and it's heavily thinned but i thin it just a little bit more now all you need to do is literally do a pin wash and a pin wash is where you just tap the brush around the the detail that you're trying to highlight and it's not really a highlight it adds a shadow it gives it some depth and that's what we're doing here and you can see capillary action will take the wash and sort of move it along either in the panel lines or around those bolt heads and the Matilda has a lot of bolt heads because why not and you can see close up how capillary action is working and it's pretty straightforward stuff guys what we're then going to do after this is we're going to dip our brush in some thinners we're not going to we're going to we're going to have two sets of thinners blending and clean we're going to dip it in the thinners after we've added all the wash and we're just going to remove the excess it's pretty straightforward nothing really to get traumatized over and of course if you make a mistake just add some more wash it's not like it, it's a trauma you need to wait for the wash to dry though yeah give it a couple of minutes don't go in while it's still wet because you all you're doing is pushing and then I'll wash around with thinner or you'll just remove the entire effect and that's not good so what you want you want you know, a relatively damp brush not overly damp and you're just going to go around and clean everything up and that's it and what you're going to be left with is a residue of shadow nothing major and as you can see here this is how it works in practice there you go just cleaning it all up you just get the residue left nothing more than that and you'll tidy up all the other bits and bobs pretty straightforward technique to be honest with you now some people like to do it with oils I, I personally do sometimes like to do it with oils but because there was so much on here um, bolt wise I just found it easier to get the enamel wash out rather than muck around with a load of oil paints if I'm being perfectly honest with you I'm just being lazy but they both have the same effect the difference with the oils is you, you tend to be able to manipulate the oils a bit more you just find that oils have a different sort of viscosity so they're easier to blend next we're going to take some polished metal and we're now going to start doing a little bit of detailing on the lower hall i'm going to start with the drive sprocket and we're just going to get those teeth and don't forget the, the, the track goes all the way around the teeth not just on the little edges so you need to get inside there as well and it's a simple effect all you're doing is just adding a little bit of polished metal to the teeth then we can do the wheels the matilda wheels did not have any rubber on them apart from one wheel so they're all silver and they're not silver they're polished metal and that's what all they were doing here just adding the polished metal because they you know they were polished they were in contact with the tracks all the time and they did get polished so that's all we're trying to replicate here nothing else 
pretty straightforward. All you got to do is follow the lines, and you know you get the effect. Makes it look pretty realistic. A lot of modelers like to use silver. I don't. I use polished metal. Same on the inside of the tracks. This is thinned polished silver. Now all this is going to be covered up with weathering anyway, but that's the effect you're looking for. Next, we're going to take some dark rubber, and we're going to do that one wheel that has a rubber around it in that this wheel here so pretty straightforward all you're going to do is just paint it on by hand try and stay within the lines you're not going to see much of the wheels anyway once the side skirts are on and again apologies for the camera can't help it i need to work it out then we're going to take some dark rubber from tamiya and we're going to paint the tracks with this this is the same color i used on the main track so these are just the spare tracks we're just going to paint those and get everything up and running so you know there you go we've now got the spare links also painted and this is the effect we're trying to get for so as you can see it's not as clean anymore we've given some depth to those bolts and everything and that's the effect we're aiming for in this stage so we're starting to slowly slowly build towards the weathering part of the paint job and that will come in the next episode. So we're going to go from this, which is just the pin wash, to this. The heavily chipped, yeah, very heavily chipped Matilda. And when we get to this episode, I'm going to show you that it's based on a real tank. So it may look like a lot of chipping, but believe me, the tank in real life was. Anyway, thank you for watching. That has been episode three, pin washes of the Let's Build the Matilda. Hopefully I'll, you enjoyed that video, by all means comment and everything below, and hopefully I'll see you again in episode 4, which is chipping. Until then, thank you for popping by, enjoy the rest of your day, bye.